What's up guys, GCMX here. Today we're going to be waking, raking some Dodo Superstars from Absolute Hall of Fame to Absolute Dog Water. <laughs> yeah, I can't say the S word because, you know, YouTube's going to restrict me for like 30 seconds. But anyway, so if I haven't uploaded since like 9 days or 10 days, it's just because um I graduated. And yeah, I made the video and you're like watching it, which that's good. I'm proud of that. But anyway, so um, let's get let's get to the video because I'm about to rank some superstars that are gonna be up there to down here. But anyway, so um, make sure I like, subscribe, and also hit the bell too for more, please, on my YouTube channel. And yeah, we're gonna be ranking a lot of superstars, and some of these superstars are gonna be good, and some of these superstars are gonna be bad. So yeah, let's get into the video. All right, let's go. So our first list. Oh my gosh. So our first list. Is AJ Styles. So I heard about AJ Styles. He's a pretty good superstar. I've watched him since 2016. He has his World Heavyweight title on the line. And I'm telling you, man, he is a main eventer. Because he's not up there yet. He started off super early. Later than like 2015, 2016, whenever he made his debut at the World Rumble. And yes, he is an absolute main eventer. And yes, he is that great of a wrestler. He also fought Seth Rollins, so... Yeah, he's a pretty good wrestler. And I don't know who's this Chase guy, so I'm going to put him down here. I'm going to be honest. I don't know who's the guy. I don't know who is he. And yeah, I don't know. Okay, let's start off with Damian Priest. Okay, Damian Priest, this guy, oh my gosh, he actually shocked me whenever I backlash. He fought Bad Bunny. Okay, this guy right here goes to main eventer. He, man, Damian Priest is one of the most talented wet wrestlers out there. Like, he's going to be in the main event scene soon. I'm seeing it from Judgment Day. Even though I don't like Judgment Day. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But Chad Gable, he, he, mm, I don't know. This is going to be a hard one. He actually needs a chance. Well, nah, because he's with Otis, so. Yeah. It's, pretty, it's a pretty hard one. Good or, ch good or needs a chance. I, I'm probably going to put him to good. He's not bad. He's not a bad superstar or nothing. He does need a chance. Well, not really. Because he's in the tag team. He just messes around. Whatever. And uh, let's go to our next one. Our next superstar. Mustafa Ali. Okay. Mustafa Ali. Man, I don't know. This guy has fought Gunther. And he did impress. Like, he impressed me so bad when I was watching um, Nine Champions. Godly. Like, Mustafa Ali was pretty good. I can't believe it, bro. It's because at first... He looked like a joke to me. And then after that, he impressed me. So, I might put him in a good category. I don't know, bro. He's not bad for wrestler. I'm going to be honest with you. Mustafa Ali is not a bad wrestler. But he's underrated, though. Veer? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. They're not talking about Veer because Veer is just absolute poop water. Because um, he's not he's not one of those superstars that are like my favorite or something like that. And he's also like, I don't know, this this wrestler, I don't know, I watched him, he was a meme, everyone can make memes about Veer, and yeah, I don't know who's this guy. And you're gonna hate me for this, you're gonna hate for you're gonna hate me for this, but Austin Neary, he's a main eventer. I seen this guy main event so much, even though he's a Vince McMahon, I hate him too. I hate Austin Neary, I will put him right down there, but no. He's the United States champion right now. If he wasn't, I would put him down there. I don't care. I don't like Austin Deary. But anyways, I don't know how Austin Deary just getting pushed every single time. He almost catched the Roman ranks, but he fell. I don't care. But yeah. Gunther. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Made a vendor. Absolutely made a vendor. This guy has absolutely shocked me the most. Like, Gunther is one of the best IC champions ever right now. Gunther is one of the best. He is main event, bro. Main event wise, man. Like, this guy has been bursting, busting his ass off, bro. That's what he's been doing. Gunther. Now, Anderson, I put him in a needs a chance because, you know, they probably need a push or something. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm going to put the full team for needs a chance if they come up the OC because they need a chance, to be honest. I don't know about the OC, but yeah. Oh, Jay Uso. Easily, Hall of Fame. Easily. Jay Uso is one of my 
favorites in the bloodline. Literally one of my favorites. I like Jay Uso. He does everything in the ring. He does good in the mic. I love this guy so much. Plus his brother too. Like the entire bloodline deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. No joke. Shanky, he, he, he probably, I don't know. I don't know if he needs to go down here or up here. Hmm, let's see. He probably needs a chance. That's, that's what I'm guessing. I never saw him in the roster, like, before he fought. I don't, for, I forgot, like, I barely forgot about him because, you know. Eh, he's, he's, he just probably needs a chance or something. I don't know. I don't know about Shanky. Shanky's kind of a jobber status, but it's whatever. I don't know who's this guy, so I'm putting him down here, okay? Um... I'm sorry if I don't know some of the wrestlers because I don't watch NXT as much. So I don't know. I don't know. I just put him down there. This guy has been never used. Never. Never used. I have to put him down here because he was never used. Never used. Like, ever. Like, I'm telling you, man. Stevenson? Never used at all. Gronk? He was here before, but I think he deserves down here. I'm telling you, man. I don't know, like, about Gronk. Gronk was an okay wrestler. I mean, he didn't wrestle at all, so I don't really know. So, yeah, that's the end of the story. Rick Books, okay. He needs a chance, obviously, because he was with Shinsuke Nakamura. And the last time they fought was the Usos. And then they lost because um he got injured. And, yeah. He, he needs a, definitely a chance, 100%. Uh, who's that? Uh, I don't know who's he, so yeah. I don't know who's this wrestler. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna hate me for this, but T-Bar, uh, he deserves to be in the good. I know I have to, I have watched their stories and stuff, the max scene, uh, their storyline and stuff. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Gunther's, Gunther's team, 100% good. Yeah, I'm already putting them good, because you know, I don't know them as much. But okay, I think I know this guy before. I think I put him needs a chance. I even like talked about him or anything. Like I really don't know who's the guy, to be honest. But yeah, I I don't know, bro. This guy, I I, I don't know who's he. And yeah, I don't know who's this this guy right here. Oh my god, I don't know who's this guy, bro. I literally have no simple words to say because I don't know who's the guy. But anyway, so uh, let's move on to the next one. Okay. Dom um guys, I know I hate Dominic so much because he's just a bad kid and he always disrespects his father. I don't like that. But anyways, you're gonna hate me for this, but he deserves the main event. I he deserves the main event because I'm telling you, this guy from the start, he was good in the start, but how he betrayed Rey Mysterio was just it was just perfect, and after that, he got the biggest boos, like the massive boos, like Roman Reigns. Because Roman Reigns, everybody hated him as a hero, to be honest. But Dominic, he deserves the main event, because I feel like he has potential to, you know, be better. I know it. You know it. <laughs> I know he has potential to be better. I know it. Pat McAfee, good, good, absolutely good. Like, I love... Pat McAfee. This guy entertains me so much. He's a commentator. He's a wrestler. Like, man, this guy's off the chain, man. Like, he and he needs to come back for sure, bro. I feel like he deserves to be good. I like Pat. Okay, Ricochet. Yes, you're going to the good category. Yes, you are very good, Ricochet, with Braun Strowman. Absolutely perfect. Perfect, man. Perfect. I love Ricochet, guys. I'm just saying. He's very good with Braun Strowman. He takes out everyone. And, yes, that's all I got to say for Ricochet. He is pretty good. Oh, you already know who this is, man. Like, this man has made events so many events. My brother likes him. And, yes, he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Let me switch this. Yes, Seth freaking Rollins. Seth freaking Rollins is the new World Heavyweight Champion right now. And he is fighting Damian Priest today. Today. And now he already beat AJ Styles for the new World Heavyweight Champion. So yeah, Seth Rollins absolutely deserves to be the Hall of Fame because he was with the Shield, with the Shield, bro. 
Like, for real, man. <laughs> like, Seth Rollins is one of the best superstars. But he ain't better than Roman Reigns, though. Mm-mm. I'm afraid Roman Reigns right there, okay? Okay, next one. Johnny Gargano, he needs a chance. Like, I see potential in Johnny Gargano. Like, Johnny Gargano has not done nothing in the company right now. Like, in the business right now. He hasn't gotten a world title yet. He hasn't gotten anything yet. I know he just came for Brawl. But anyways, I don't know what's going on, bruh. Like, literally. I think Johnny Gargano deserves another push, to be honest. I really don't know. Oh, uh, pretty deadly. Uh, hold up, hold up. Next one. Okay, next one. It's pretty deadly. I don't know who these guys, but I might as well just put them in the season chance because they just started. They literally just started, so I did watch them. They weren't that entertaining, but yeah. I think, I think pretty deadly needs to be, uh, I don't know. Needs a chance, I guess. And next one, Almas. Almas has some pretty good matches. He had a pretty good match with Seth Rollins, which I'm really impressed what he has done. Almost, bro. So, Almost, you deserve to be in the good category. So, like, seriously, you're tall. You can beat everyone up. I haven't seen a match with Roman Reigns in Almost for, like, I don't know, a while, I guess. Yeah, um, Almost, he deserve to be in the good. Alright, Tommaso Ciampa. You need, you need a chance, obviously, bro. I know you're injured right now. But, yes, you need a chance. Obviously, bro. I know you'll come back. Please team up with Johnny. I need you and Johnny to be, like, paired together. Like, please, come on. And then, I don't know. Oh, hold up. Next one. I don't know about this guy, so I really don't know who he is. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> He's absolute poo-poo. Uh, Angel Garth. Yeah. Harbutsu Gorio. I, I said Angel Garth. What the heck? Okay, he deserves down here because he hasn't done nothing in the company. No joke. Hasn't done nothing in the company. Kobe Kingston. Next one. Kobe Kingston. The Hall of Fame. Easily Hall of Fame. This guy is a very OG wrestler. I knew about the New Day. Like, some some of the New Day. Okay, I put Xavier up there too because they deserve to be up there. This guy, Kofi, he, he's a pretty good wrestler. He's not a bad wrestler. I remember he was Jamaican with his old song. I pretty much like his old song. It was pretty good. Absolutely love what he did. For real, man. Next one. Uh, I really don't know who he is. I don't know. I don't know. I just put him in the bottom. If, if I put somebody in the bottom, I don't know. Then I don't know. I shouldn't make an I don't know list. My bad. Uh, next one is... Uh, this guy, <laughs> this guy, hold oh, no, I forgot, I forgot, what is his name? Dexter, Dexter, there you go, Dexter, okay, Dexter, I will put him in the, nah, 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 I put him in the good, because I feel like he doesn't need a WWE World Heavyweight Champion, or another push, I just feel like he's good, he's good in, in Raw right now, Dexter's just a meme character, he's just a funny character, and yeah, okay, this wrestler, um, I don't know, and then this next wrestler, I don't know. And then Bronson Reed, the nuclear. Uh, he deserves to be in the, I don't know, probably in the good. Because he's been pulling up some banger matches lately. So, yeah, obviously, Bronson Reed's just good in general. But I'm just saying, I don't know. He's probably in the good category. Edge. Okay, Edge. One of my favorite superstars right now. Like, not right now, but. Used to be like Edge is one of the best. Like he deserves to be in Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame category. He got too old. Like he's the radar superstar. He knows everything what he's doing, and yeah, I'm telling you, man, he, he's pretty. He's pretty good. Yeah, Hall of Fame. And Eric, yes, yes, Eric deserves to be in the good because you know they've been good in the tag team and stuff, and yeah, they won the tag team champions. So that's why he deserves to be in the good. Eric. And then the next one. Finn Balor. Okay, Finn Balor. Jeez, man. He he had a he had a tough he had a tough Universal Champion ring, like whenever he got injured. And then one of his careers got revived because of Judgment Day. Obviously Judgment Day, bro. I think Finn Balor deserves to be in the main event with Dominic. Yeah. Yeah, with Dominic. And then we replace this with Gunther right here. He's a sucking second place, yeah. 
So both Judgment Day members are in the main event. Okay. Oh, no, no. Three, three, three. Because I forgot about Damien. He's pretty good. So some, some of the... um. Some of the Judgment Day is going to get, like, pushed soon. I already know it. And I don't know who's this wrestler. Man, it shouldn't have Rita in this. It would have complete the entire Judgment Day. I don't know why they didn't add this tier list. That's pretty weird. I try to find a tier list, but I don't know. And this wrestler, I don't really know. Because I really don't know these two wrestlers. Who are they or something like that. I don't know. Sheamus, absolute Hall of Fame. Absolutely Hall of Fame. Sheamus deserves to be in the Hall of Fame, dude. Like, he's been... Man. I actually love the team he's, he's on right now. The Brawling Brutes. Love that team. Obviously. Who's that? I really don't know, bro. If, I should have just put a... I don't know. I should have just put a... I don't know category. I really don't watch NXT. It's my fault. I know. Some of the wrestlers I don't really know. Yeah, it's it's kind of bad, like, you know, <sighs> dang. Top Dollar, he deserves to be in the good. Well, no, no, he needs a chance. Never mind, never mind. Okay, we need to talk about Top Dollar. Top Dollar, I know he's he got started. I know they released him because he was bad. Like, they were like, when I first saw him, the, what's that team called? I forgot, like. Dang, I be forgetting teams where they when I've been watching for WWE for a few years. Come on, man. Dang it, I don't know. But um, Top Dollar, he deserves to be in the needs a chance because he probably needs a chance badly. Like, you know. Yeah, Top Dollar needs a chance. And Randy Orton. Randy freaking Orton deserves to be in the hall. No, no, I'm putting it right beside Seth Rollins because I'm telling you, man, Randy Orton's one of the best superstars right now but he got injured because he had a fought he had a fight with Roman Reigns and the Usos yeah it was pretty bad like the Usos and Roman Reigns just abused them and Roman Reigns um gains he riddle and then Randy Orton got got injured by Roman Reigns which is kind of sad man I don't know man like I miss Randy Orton we need him back we need this guy back absolutely Randy needs to be back for this I promise you, he deserves it. Randy needs to come back. Okay, Nomendar probably needs a chance. I don't even know if he's in the company or not, but yeah. Nomendar, I did watch him on Cruiserweight. I remember that time I did watch him. Sentry, oh my gosh, Sentry. Jeez, man, you need you need a push 100%. You're so talented. I see you in the ring. You, you, you're doing good, obviously good. Sentry, you deserve to be in the needs a chance. For real. Deserve it. You actually deserve it. Okay. Pete Dunn. Pete Dunn, he's in the good category with Brawling Brutes. I'm going to put the entire Brawling Brutes to good. Okay, I don't know who this wrestler is. My bad. I know. I know I don't know the wrestlers. I'm sorry. But yeah. Biggie Hall of Fame with Kofi. Yeah. But the whole entire New Day is going to Hall of Fame. I'm just saying. Biggie was good man he had a good world heavyweight title ring and this and that and yeah he that that's it he got injured so so yeah that was pretty sad how he got injured don't know who's the wrestler i'm be honest with you i don't know which wrestler who is that who is this who yeah okay cameron grimes you and you need a chance well yeah i'm gonna need a chance because i never saw this guy on smackdown or raw any any type of um any type of company he goes and yeah. Okay, Angel Garza. Yeah, 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 yeah. I already know, I already know what's the answer for this. Both of these need to go to different companies. These guys right here need to go to different companies. They're not very good. And the Miz, the Miz deserves in the Hall of Fame. I'm sorry, but I know I like I don't like the Miz and all this, but he deserves the Hall of Fame because you know he's been going good with the mic skills, the. The acts he's been doing, everything about The Miz is perfect. The feud with Dolph Ziggler, that man, that match had every single thing out of my mind. Like, it was perfect. I love The Miz. The Miz is perfect. Yes. Shinsuke needs a chance, obviously. Shinsuke, I'm telling you, man. Shinsuke, I know he has a push. I know damn well he has a push, bro. Shinsuke, man, 
He, this guy needs a world title. I know he won the United States champion. Maybe Inter... Yeah, he, he won the IC. Yes. But he needs a world title. He, he needs a chance. Obviously, Shinsuke needs a chance. 100%. Okay, then put him with T-Bar. Yes. This guy from the Stat Mustafa Elisberg. Yeah, that is okay. So he deserves to be in the good. So the Buffalo needs to start to be the good. Okay. Solo. I will put a main event, but nah. Or Hall of Fame, but nah. I put him good because I don't know about Solo as much as usual. I know Solo's with the bloodline. But I'm just saying. Solo's kind of down there a little bit. He's getting started. He's getting started. He's going to go. He's going to go to Hall main event. And then moments, years later, he's going to main, I mean, Hall of Famer. Because he's going to be pretty good. No cap. Camilo Hayes. Uh, I don't know who. Uh, yeah. It's, okay. Camilo Hayes needs to deserve a chance. I don't know. He's from NXT. So, you know, I'll put it to good. Never mind. He's, he's in good. He's in good. He's already NXT champion. And um, Ivar. Yes. Put him to good. Viking Raiders. Oh, yeah, Angelo Dawkins, yes, main event, 100%. No, 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 hold up, hold up. He's in the good, he's in the good, never mind, he's in the good. He's not, he's not as fast as usual, but, but the next one, you're about to be, um, shocked or something, he's pretty good, he deserves to be in the main event. Uh, La Knight, main event. This guy needs a money in the bank, for sure. I love La Knight so much, like, this guy has so much talent. So much, like I know, he has everything, and yes, and La Knight needs to this when needs to win the money in the bank, and yes, he needs a world title too. Or hold up, I'm putting him in the good. La Knight, or hold up, hold up, Fire needs a chance. I don't know, he's not main event yet. Like he's not main event yet, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I put him in the green. Brock Lesnar deserves the Hall of Fame. I already know who Brock Lesnar is. I don't like the guy, but anyways, he's kind of a part-timer. I mean, he doesn't count as a part-timer because he was in the Ruthless Aggression era. So, yeah, Brock Lesnar deserves to be in the top. Don't know who's this guy, so I'm going to put him in the bottom. Really don't know. This guy, put him in needs a chance because he actually needs a chance. Like, obviously. And, yes, this guy needs a chance. This guy, uh, don't know, don't know, but I'm be honest, don't know. Logan Paul. Okay, Logan Paul, I'm telling you, man, Logan Paul, whenever he came to the WWE, this guy has impressed me so freaking much. Like, Logan Paul has been pulling out bangers after bangers after bangers after bangers with Roman and Seth and The Miz and everyone else, bro. Like, man, main event, main event. Logan Paul deserves to be in the main event, and I know it. He's gonna be good soon. I'm not joking. I don't care if he's, if he's a YouTuber, a boxer, whatever kind. Logan is impressive. Love the guy. This guy, uh, don't know. Um, if I put don't know, I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of absolute dog poo poos in this list. And brought brought up. Who's this guy? I know who. I know what's his name. I know what's his name. What's his name? Oh yeah, Bronson. Yeah, yeah. I know who's, who's this guy. Yeah, he's in a good chance. The NXT um, champion. He's in a good chance. This guy right here. He's in a good chance. This guy. Um. Is he with? Oh yeah, he's with the. Uh, yeah, he's with the team. I forgot. Oh my gosh, bro. I keep forgetting, like, the teams for this, bro. Like, I don't know. They're called somebody. Uh, they, Ron Strowman deserves to be in the good. Deserves to be in the good. Obviously in the good because he's good with Ricochet. Where is Ricochet at? Ricochet. Where, where are you? Where are you? I keep forgetting who's Ricochet. Where is he at? Uh, where is Ricochet? Where is Ricochet? Where is Ricochet? I hope I'm not blind. Right here, right here, yeah. So he, so both of them are pretty good tag teams. Both of them. Absolutely, yes. And this guy, the next guy, I don't know. 
And then the next guy, next guy, Rem Mysterio. Okay, Rem Mysterio deserves in the Hall of Fame. Rem Mysterio is one of the greatest legends ever, bro. Like, Rem Mysterio is just one of the best talents, one of the best legends ever in WWE. Deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Absolutely. He already, he's already on Hall of Fame, so yeah. This guy, I don't know. And the next guy, I don't know who is these guys for real, man. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know. Some the three guys I put, I don't know who are they. This guy, I don't know. Okay, next guy, Montez Ford. Okay, Montez Ford. This guy is an absolute Hall of Fame. I watched him before. He's not bad. He had a good match with Roman too. But he had a good match with other wrestlers too, by the way. So he deserves to be in the main event spot. Yes. Yes, Montez Ford deserves to be in the main event spot. He is a pretty damn good damn wrestler, bro. Man, I love Montez Ford. He's pretty entertaining. This guy, I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Jinder Mahal, I put him in a good category because, you know... He was a uh, former Dota champion whenever he beat Randy Orton at Backlash. It was one of the worst wins because, you know, Jinder Mahal just came out of nowhere and shocked us all. And, yeah, we didn't like it. I didn't like Jinder Mahal at all. But, anyways, I did. I did whenever he turned good. Because he started to act like a funny character. Okay, R-Truth, good. I'm putting good because r is pretty funny. This guy is pretty funny. He's best buddies with Roman Reigns. And he, he's just the funniest wrestler ever, bro. I love Archer. Archer is pretty good. He's pretty good. This guy, I put him needs a chance. I feel like he's a good wrestler. I don't know who's this guy. I don't watch NXT as much, so don't roast me in the comments, please. Okay, this guy, I don't know. He's in the dog water. And who's that? That looks like, what's his name? Wade Barrett. Yeah, it looks like Wade Barrett. I don't know, it's just starting to be in a bomb, for real, because I don't know who's that. Okay, Cody Rhodes. He's not in the Hall of Fame, though. He's in the main event spot. I know Cody Rhodes. He, he, he's just, I don't know. Cody Rhodes, he had a good match with Seth freaking Rollins when I watched him at WrestleMania 37, all the way in Dallas. Oh my gosh, I really enjoyed WrestleMania 37 so much. And guess what? He shocked me whenever he made the biggest return in WWE. And WrestleMania, this was really shocking, man. Cody Rhodes kind of deserves in the main event spot. He's he's kind of like not up there yet, but he's down there. He needs to win a world title, a world title. Which yeah, he can't beat Roman Reigns, so I don't care. I know I don't like Cody Rhodes, but he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame spot. Shelton, well, he's he's kind of old. He's an OG superstar, so I'm putting him to good. He doesn't actually need a world title, so. Yeah, okay, this wrestler, I never saw him before, but I put him to needs a chance. He's not that bad. I just put him needs a chance. So, hold up, wait a second. Why are these two look... I don't know. But, okay. Akira Tosawa, uh needs a chance. I never saw this guy put in the main event spot ever. He needs to be in, like, in the goods right here, right now. I won't say main event, because he's not a main event superstar. Akira Tosawa is just a funny character, like r he is. But yeah, both of them are fine. Okay, the next one. Oh my gosh, bro. Y'all are gonna like, say all this mean stuff, etc. But, anyways, you know who's this. You know who's that. I know who he is. I know who he is. And his name is Roman freaking Ranks. This starts to be number one. I don't care. I acknowledge Roman Ranks, how he does. He was pretty good. A pretty good of a damn wrestler, bro. I love Roman freaking Rings. He is my favorite above Seth Rollins. He is my number one. I don't care what you say. He is a good undisputed universal champion. He is a good undisputed universal champion. Ever since WrestleMania 37, he defeated Brock Lesnar. I got so happy because I was over there just cheering Roman Reigns so loud. Everything, man. Roman Reigns is served in the Hall of Fame. He's going to Hall of Fame with Seth freaking Rollins. I know it. I want them, I want these two to face each other soon at 40. Please make it happen. I want something to happen at WrestleMania 40. Roman Reigns versus Seth freaking Rollins at WrestleMania 40 with the triple titles, his new world, world heavyweight, and his undisputed. Please make it happen. 
I want it. I want it to happen. I know some of y'all don't even care, which I don't. Care. Well, I do care, but yeah. Anyways, next superstar, Bobby Roode. Man, I don't know, man. Like this, this guy, he got injured, so I don't know if we're gonna see him back. I don't know, man. Like I miss Bobby Roode, bro. Where is he? Where is the guy? I miss him, bro. Like I literally miss him. I want him. I want him to bring back to his OG song, please, please, bro. Okay, this guy, I don't know. I don't know who's this guy. Bobby Lashley. Good. Good. Like, Bobby... No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. I would say main event. He's either main event or good, or Hall of, Hall of Fame. But anyways, Bobby Lashley, he, he is a pretty good wrestler. This guy won the World Heavyweight Champion against The Miz, against Brock, against Drew, against, like, every single one. Bobby Lashley is pretty much a talent talent wrestler he's a pretty good wrestler he's been there at a at the OG times and then he went to TNA and after that he left TNA he went to uh, WWE and he's actually doing better obviously I like Bobby Lashley he deserves to be in the main event spot yep and Shane McMahon uh probably in the good oh no 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 put him Hall of Fame with um Ray so I guess Shane McMahon was a pretty good um superstar and a manager. I think I remember him a lot, but a little bit. Yeah, I know Shaman, man. Hold up. <sighs> and Xavier puts in with the New Day. Yes. They're going to a Hall of Fame together, so yeah. I'm not going to say anything with Xavier, but he's a pretty good wrestler. He had a good fight with Roman Reigns. No joke. This guy's talented, too. But this guy, I really don't know. I apologize. I am sorry. Zami Zayn. Okay, I don't like Zami Zayn as much, but I will put him in the main event spot because right now they are pushing him to the limits because he had a good match with Roman Reigns and then he lost and then all the fans boo at Roman Reigns because it was at Mar Montreal and yeah, it was just, it was just um it was not pretty good after he suffered a loss. But anyways, this next guy. He looks like Karrion Cross, but that's not even him. So, yeah, I'm just going to put him to down there. Okay, Bray Wyatt. Okay, about Bray Wyatt. They never pushed the guy, obviously. I feel bad for Bray Wyatt. Man, I don't want to do this, but... They're going to hate me for this, but... He's, he's putting him down there. Because they're not using him. They're not using him for any creatives or some shit like that. I don't know why. I don't know why they're not using Bray Wyatt. I don't know why. I don't know what WWE is doing with him, to be honest. So I heard. I'm hearing some news that they're bringing back the Fiend. The Fiend. Okay, no, I I have to put him down there because they're not gonna use him well. I know it. I don't know why. I don't know why he's useless in this WWE. Riddle. Okay. First of all, why are you trying to put him and put him in the main event scene? He's not the main event. No offense, but. I'm sorry, I'm not a, I'm not a Matt Riddle fan type guy. He deserves to be in the good. I put him in the good, because I know he's pretty good at the ring and stuff, but he's not made event-wise. I'm sorry. He's not made event-wise. Okay, Otis, 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 Otis. Where's chat, where's chat, where's chat? Okay, there you are. I'm going to put you with them, so Otis, you're pretty good. I'm not going to lie, you're pretty good. Dolph Ziggler, this guy, man, like, this guy has not ever been used in WWE ever in my life. Dolph Ziggler deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. I don't care. This guy deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. I know he's been having some bad records, like, this year and from past, like, years. But anyways, the 2014, 2012, or something like that. Oh my god, he had he had the biggest push of his career. He had the money in the bank. And he also won the new world heavyweight champion against Alberto Carrillo. Oh my gosh, bro. This guy is literally one of the best superstars in WWE. Like, no joke. One of the best superstars in WWE. Absolutely deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. I know, please WWE, put him in the Hall of Fame. And I put, I put the rest of the LWO right here. Needs a chance. I, I think he needs a chance 100%. Anderson needs to put with um, Gallows. Hold up. That's Anderson and that's Gallows. Okay. And this guy, I really don't know who is he, dude. I don't know. And they don't use Karen. Okay. The next guy, Karen Cross. I'm sorry I have to do this, but 
he puts right here because they're not using him probably they're not using him he's just he's just sitting there just being a jobber like i don't know why they're not using him he was pretty good in nxt until ah <sighs> dang they didn't put him and then uh the next wrestler I, I do know but he left he went to AEW. and then jimmy uso deserves to be with jay yeah, they're both going to the Hall of Fame. So that's understandable. And then Baron Corbin probably needs a chance. Baron Corbin is a pretty good wrestler. But he just probably needs a chance. I heard him. He's going for the NXT title. So this won't be bad as usual. Okay, next one. Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens is one of the best wrestlers right now. He's, he's undisputed tag team titles with Zami Zayn. So they, they deserve to be in the main event spot. And then and then the uh, Imperium, yes, both of them deserve to be in the good because they're with Gunther. They're with Gunther, yes, both of them. Okay, Pretty Deadly next to Pretty Deadly. I really don't know about Pretty Deadly, so yeah, they deserve to be right there. And then the next one is um the this wrestler. Okay, where is uh where is he at? Rich Holland, oh yeah, that, where is Rich Holland, or where is Pete Dunn? Where is Pete Dunn? I, I'm, I don't know where he's yet. Where is Pete Dunn? I'm trying to find him, guys. Where is Pete Dunn? Oh, there he is. Okay, there he is. I don't know why I'm so blind. I can't, like, find anything. Like, I don't know why. And Paul Cruz deserves to be in the good. This guy was useful. No joke. He was pretty useful. Kind of love him. Yeah, he he was pretty useful. Matt Cap, Yeah, yeah. Go to a different company, please. I don't like you. Just just get out of here, bro. Just get out of here. You're, you're not good enough. You're not good enough. This guy, uh, don't know. This guy, uh, don't know. This guy, don't know. Okay, guys, that's it for my tier list. Obviously, this is my tier list for WWE right now. I know there's some wrestlers that left. Or I know there's some wrestlers that didn't go. Or, yeah. But anyways. Alright, guys, if you enjoyed that video, make sure to like and subscribe. And also hit the bell, too, for more. That tier list was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie to you. The tier list I ranked was pretty okay, I should say. And yeah, that's really it for today. I mean, that's all I can explain. That's really it. Like, you know, I've been really busy a lot. So yeah, I'm going to try to like upload more videos like this soon. So yeah, I made a tier list about wrestlers, active wrestlers. But anyways, hope everyone has a good day. And yes, make sure to go do those three things. All right, I'll see you later. Goodbye. With three fingers, let me rap with a best fly. Look at me, I'm treading through the city. Who you know, do it better in the city. Who you know, moving cheddar in the city. Spooling bread in the city. To a head, you ain't with me. Doors too open for the kid now. Poor saying goes for the rich now. Motels, turn to this, I'm in rich now. Shit, let me miss out.